Perfect. Perfect. I gotta reevaluate life. Hi. I figured I would do a day in the life because um, I have a ton of new subscribers. Let you all get to know me. We're gonna hang out for the day. My plan for today is to do some. I apologize. I'm literally just waking up, so it might be some crust in my eyes. Still got a little bit of makeup left over from yesterday, but we're gonna look past that. Um, so my plan for today is to go home decor shopping, maybe find some lamps, hopefully. Um, I'm doing my guest bedroom, so I have some paint um, samples that I need to go test. And then also, I need to go to the grocery store. So that's kind of the the mood for today. That's the, that's the vibe for today. So let me get dressed and then let's get started with the day, okay? Somebody who asked me, this is where I found this at. that didn't go so well see that'd be the dilemma I find one lamp and can't find the other one that's why I ain't got no lamps I'm gonna try to go to another home goods so if I happen to find the same lamp at another home goods then I'll come back and buy this one because I'm sure nobody's gonna buy it all right before I go anywhere I gotta make my haircut appointment my barber opens up his books every Sunday at 12 like a shoe drop so I got to be on here to make sure I get my appointment before I go in any store. Cause that's important. Got to wait for that 12 o'clock. Oh, 12 o'clock. Oh, there we go. Need that 10 a.m. Yep. So now I'm about to go into, um, I'm about to go into TJ Maxx. See what kind of home stuff they got back there. See what we can find. Hand signs for somebody who asked me. We can sometimes find them in Home Goods. FYI. It's not looking so well. Not much going on here. I do need to organize my one of my food cabinets so I'm gonna look for some of those items too. Okay yeah I think I'm just gonna get these and keep it moving. Well, 
Okay, that was a, that was a little score. I think I'm about to go get something to eat now because I'm getting hungry. Um, there's a new vegan Mexican restaurant that I want to try. It's called Chi 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 Vegan. So I'm probably about to head over there, grab some lunch, and keep it pushing. Chi Chi's is closed. Damn it, I really wanted to try that place. If I would have known they was close today, I wouldn't have went yesterday. Now I gotta reevaluate life. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go to, there's a bow place. I love bow. Um, over in East Atlanta. Dad, what's the name of it? Mushi, 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 Mushi. They not open either. Damn it! I am 0 for 2. Okay. What am I going to eat now? Forget it. I'm about to just go to at home and go do some shopping until I can figure out what I'm about to eat. I'm highly disappointed. I decided to pit stop at the, uh, the bookstore because I have an affinity for books. So I'm just going to go in here, browse around, see what I can find, see what I can see, see what I can buy. I always like coming over to the cookbook section to see if they got any new vegan cookbooks. And whenever I see a black girl in a cookbook, I get excited. The black people in general. Mm. No. So many vegan cookbooks. I like my cookbooks with pictures in it. I need to see what your what your food is gonna look like. I like the way this book looks. I think this is, it's very, it's very visually appealing. All right, I'm not finding anything that I want to buy. Why is it when I'm trying to buy stuff, I can't find stuff to buy? But when you don't want to spend no money, you be finding everything you want to buy. Well, I don't know if I really feel like going all the way out to at home because at home is not close to me. I might just, because I'm hungry and I do have a leftover wrap from yesterday. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the, my tea spot and get me a tea. I'm going to go home, eat, organize my pantry and do my test paint. So I work from home 100% of the time. So I moved to my new place in November. And since I travel so much for work, I haven't been home to be able to enjoy it. That's why I was finally able to actually design my home and do all of the decor and stuff and get everything the way that I liked it since I've been in quarantine. So yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so I'm about to sit down and eat. I need to water my plants. I just realized that my plants are hella dry. So, my babies, let me water my babies before I eat. I gotta, gotta feed them before I feed myself. That's what a good mama would do, right? Time to eat. So, I have a leftover wrap. Um, from Tassili's Raw Reality. If anybody in Atlanta knows what that is, they make bomb ass kale wraps and I don't even like kale. And they have managed to make me like kale. So here's the other half of it that I am about to enjoy. Sit down, watch TV, eat, relax for a second. And then, you know, I'm gonna tackle this food 
cabinet. Yeah, I meant to take a, um, <laughs> show y'all what it looked like before I took a bite, but there it go and all this goodness. Mm -hmm. Get into that. I can't believe I'm eating a kale wrap, but this shit is so good. So where am I from? I'll tell you what, I'm not from Atlanta. I am originally from Cleveland, Ohio, born and raised. Used to live in LA for a couple of years and then moved here to Atlanta about three years ago. So yeah, I kind of been all over the place because I travel for work. So I'm usually hopping from city to city, but where I reside, where my home is, where my mail comes to right now is Atlanta. So yeah, Atlanta is home. Okay, so first I am going to tackle this cabinet. I know it's old food in here. I know it's some stuff I need to get out of here. When I try to find stuff, you know, I'll end up going to the store and buying it again and lo and behold, it was hidden back here somewhere. So I'm gonna clean this out, assess what I have, and then try to organize it as much as I can. Let me see if these work inside. Shoot, now that I love them. This is too big. My cabinets are not that deep. See, that's why you gotta measure stuff before you go. Cause yeah, I can tell that this is, I mean, I could put them sideways, but I don't wanna put them in there sideways. I want them to go in like this. So I'm gonna be taking these back probably. Yeah, cause I don't want it to go in like this. What was I thinking? Yeah, so uh, yeah, measure. See, now why do I have two egg replacers? Why? Oh, a brownie mix. I forgot this was even up here. Hella expired. Oh, see, I just went and bought some more panko bread breadcrumbs too. Hella expired. heard of these I bought these online and I've been meaning to try it and again they've been in the cabinet and I totally forgot about them um, it's supposed to be a little mix it's like a satan product and you just add water and oil and yeah maybe I'll do a video on it let you guys know what it's about okay I'm gonna wipe these down I really now that I've taken everything out ex with the exception of that little stuff um i really want to get some bins I, I want this to be more organized and just throwing this stuff back in there so i'm gonna leave it out i'm gonna take a trip back to home goods tj maxx marshall's or something and try to find some bins because yeah i it, it, i feel like i'm just gonna throw it back in here and it's just gonna be a organized mess Quick measurement to see how long we got oh we got a, a foot so roughly a foot. I'm not too concerned about the width, but let me do it. And for width. So I decided to come to the container store. I actually had something I needed to return here. This was like the last resort because the container store is so expensive, but I'm gonna look around and see if I can find something. Oh, well, this is kind of nice. A little, oh. probably use that for my how much is this twenty dollars measurements ten by ten by ten I mean that could work okay found that little bin um I don't know why they didn't have the, the bin that I returned I didn't even see that that uh brand those brand bins because i like those bins the one that i returned um but that bin was just too big for what i needed so well i have bought that bin for something else so so i'm still gonna go to tj maxx and return these other two bins maybe look around and see what they have in there and uh, yeah keep it pushing 2 30 yeah get back to the house and finish up doing what i'm doing for the day
right now I'm just sitting here on my bedroom floor I don't feel like doing anything <laughs> but I got all that food sitting out downstairs so I need to go put it away and get it organized so <sighs> I'm about to go do that it's only 346 so the day is still young so I'm gonna get up not about to be lazy I'm about to be productive and I'm going to go put in work. <laughs> so this is what we got. We got this one and we got these. Those actually fit in perfectly. And then this one, I was thinking of doing it like this. Okay. Okay. We, we, we might be on to something. Let me see. What about this? So, yeah, one, two. So three aren't going to fit across. So it's only going to be two on one shelf. I think this will work for now. I mean, it's it's not the most organized, but it's better than what it was before. So I might go back and get one more bin, the another set of three. So I'll put one up there and then two right here. And then I'll have this side open to put some extra stuff. Oh, oh yeah. I got a black owned business for y'all to try out. A black owned winery or wine company it's called the mcbride sisters look at that black girl magic so they got the black girl magic red blend riesling and rose yeah i don't drink but you know i support black owned businesses and you know i think it it visually it just looks nice i just like the whole black girl magic thing that they got going on because you know i am black girl magic so um yeah i think you can find some of them in stores i ordered mines online because the black girl magic um was not available in stores in my area i don't think i just went straight to online and go buy them so mcbride sisters black owned business support oh and this is not sponsored by any means necessary i just found them i happened to stumble upon you know i'm always looking for black owned businesses and companies to support as much as i can um so i stumbled upon that and i was like yes absolutely i'm gonna get that i haven't tried them so i can't tell you if they're good or not but it's like black girl magic so it gotta be good right so i do have a son i have one child my baby is 21 years old. I know, I know, I know I get a lot of double takes. Like, you got a what? Bitch, where? Yes, I have a 21 year old son. I had him when I was 19, so you can calculate that out and do the math. My age is really not a secret. You know, it's not that big of a deal. I am 40 years old. I'm a whole 40 and my baby is 21. But yeah, my son used to live here in Atlanta with me. He moved back to Cleveland earlier this year. So, you know, he out there being a whole adult and it's so crazy to me that my baby is grown. But yes, I do have a son, one, and he's grown. Okay, so here's all of my paint swatches, mostly green because the color scheme I'm going for is green and gray. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this pink chair. We haven't figured that out yet. Um, but I don't know if I wanna do the two colors on the wall anymore. I think I just wanna do one solid wall of one color. So I really want it to be green, but I'm still on the fence. So just gonna try these colors out and see which one works the best. So let's get to painting.
All right, here, with, here they are wet. We'll see what they look like dry. Like I'm just wondering like, should I try the grays? Um, do I want gray? Gray is so predictable. God, I like to go outside of the norm and do something just a little bit different. Mm, so far this is, I like this one, but it's still drying. But yeah, those two almost look exactly alike. See, on camera it looks a little different, but in person it looks so gray. I like the way it looks, you know, like those look totally different next to each other. We'll see. I'm so all over the place. Now I'm like, ooh, a dark, like navy blue and the gray would be super dope too. And I can get some dark blue curtains. Um, mm, I'm, I'm, the wheels is churning now. I might be going a different direction. Although I really do want to play with some green, but that navy dark, like a dark, dark navy blue. Not like the royal blue, like the dark blue. Oh, stay tuned. All right, I decided to go to Trader Joe's now. Hopefully the line is not long and I can get in and out. And I may swing by Home Goods again to get some more of those bins for the cabinets. Or I may do that in the morning. I probably should do it tonight while I'm going out. Well, this evening while I'm going out. So, yeah, just going to head over to... But I really need to go to Trader Joe's to get some flowers. I like fresh flowers and that's where I get them from. So it's time to re-up. Okay, Lily's in hand. I wanted my hydrangeas. Um, that's what I usually like in my kitchen, but they didn't look right. I like them to be really white, and those had that yellowy, greenish tint to it, so I passed on those. I don't know, it's a bug in here. You got to go. Get on up out of here. Let me roll this thunder down, too. Go ahead and make your way up out of here. Where it go? Where it go? I don't mess around with nobody's bugs. I'll tell you that much. I don't know where it went. Okay, third time in Home Goods today. I know they sick of seeing me. I'm gonna be in and out. I'm just grabbing these bins and going home. You know what I also, I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably gonna put some um, labels on here. It's kind of hard because a lot of these have a little bit of different stuff in them. So, um, but yeah, I think it'll look nice to put a little label on the bins. So I might do that too. Okay. I think that works. Yeah, I think it'll look better once I actually put the labels on there. It'll look more organized, but yeah, I can do that. Makes me feel a little bit better. I mean, this part is still a little, you know, it is what it is, but it looked better than what it did when I first started because, you know, it was just stuff thrown in there. I didn't even know what I had. I know you all probably looked at this cabinet while I was putting it together and wondered, like, where does she keep her spices? Like, this ain't got no seasonings up in there other than this little bit of stuff right here. But I want to show you all where I keep my seasonings because I find it easier when you're cooking and you can see everything better. So I actually have a spice drawer. So I keep my seasonings in a drawer. So let me show you all what that looks like. So here is how I have organized my spices. Um, I do find that it is so much easier when you're cooking to be able to have everything like handy like this. I got these um, drawer little spice holder thingies from the container store. And what I usually do when I'm, I made the initial investment on these Simply Organic Spices, but what I will do is when they get low is I will go to Sprouts or any of the farmer's market 
and buy in bulk. So buy the spices organically in bulk and then just refill so that everything can stay look and nice and neat and organized but yeah and then I have my little leftover spices over here on this side I just wanted to throw that little tip in that a spice drawer if you can go that route try it out let me know what you think but yeah just just some home organization ideas that I can offer you know I'm trying to be more organized in my cabinets and my drawers and things of that nature so um, yeah, the container store will get you all the way together or, you know, the container store is a little bit pricey. So, you know, look on Amazon. I would also say, you know, like look into TJ Maxx, the uh, home goods, the Marshalls and those type of places to get bins. Like you saw, I got my bins and, you know, if you want to do labels, you get your labels. Like there are a ton of companies on Etsy where you can get some pantry labels printed. So yeah, little tip little organization tip. Hopefully that was helpful. So I have been vegan for four years now. It was just four years this month in September. Um, why did I decide to go vegan? So I was on a quest to figure out how to make my stomach feel better. I had a lot of issues with constipation. Sorry if this is TMI, but I couldn't go to the bathroom regularly. I used to get colonics. I used to take stool softeners. I used to take Miralax. I used to take all of that stuff just so I could go to the bathroom. And you know, my doctors wasn't helpful. They just wanted to tell me what to take. So take this or take that. But I'm like, there has to be another way. So I just decided to slowly start cutting stuff out of my diet. You know, over the years, cutting back and cutting out red meat, cutting out pork or not eating it as much. Um, and then slowly I arrived to being vegan. You know, it was a process. I didn't just go like cold turkey. I should say, I, uh, you know, not really. I mean, the day that I made the decision, I probably was still eating like seafood or, you know, maybe a little bit of chicken here and there. but. Um, I wasn't like heavy. It was more vegetarian focused than meat focused when I actually made the switch to being vegan. And now that I'm vegan, like smooth sailing as far as the bathroom department goes. I apologize if this is a little TMI, but I am, it for me, it really helped in that arena. And for that reason, I don't know if I can go back to eating that again because I don't want to feel like that. I'm happy to say that my stomach feels much better and I am nice and regular and you know I'm vegan from here on out okay So a lot of questions that I have been getting since I posted my apartment tour video is do I do home decor services or any type of interior design services? And the answer to that right now, unfortunately, is no. Surprisingly, I never thought of that as a career. Like I've always had a career background in um, healthcare. Um, never in a million years did I ever think about doing anything as far as interior design services. I just knew I always loved it, I always enjoyed it, but I never thought of doing it as a career. So that's, it's actually something to think about and maybe one day I will look towards that avenue and do something like that. But right now, I'm unfortunately, I do not offer services, but hopefully, you know, the videos that I post and the home decor and the stuff that I do around my place can provide some type of information inspiration to you guys and maybe give you all some ideas of you know things that you can do in your place so sorry guys but at the moment i do not offer those services but maybe soon come soon come all right but that's where i think i'm gonna end it for today thank you all for hanging out with me i hope you all learned a little bit about me got to know me got to you know i wanted to say hey to my new subscribers so in the next vlog i will update you guys on what i'm gonna do in that bedroom downstairs and do a whole bedroom decor so stay tuned for that but thank you all for hanging out with me deuce